Sailing day. So, what's been our biggest challenge so far this morning? Uh, finding things that we haven't got. <laughs> Does this look like a lovely breakfast to eat with no silverware? <laughs> oh, we forgot to pack some more. some uh, major photography stuff. I don't even think well, the lady told us that she didn't think we'd even be able to video in there. No, no, I wasn't going to take all of that. I'm just taking this stuff. What is that? Look, I just don't think it's going to go like that. Okay. I thought maybe later we could do some other Yeah, because it does end at five, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay. But we do have to sort out lots of green on there.
that's going to make the trailing. Day one of sailing, what's your thoughts? It was awesome. It was pretty cool. It was cool, but I was also... It was kind of funny, though. I was a little disappointed at the amount of money that we paid... To have such a crappy boat. To have a boat that, in my opinion, our boat at home that we are constantly trying to fix looks mm -hmm. to be in better shape. Yeah. yeah. Um, like I can't focus on the um, sailing portion a lot of the sailing stuff that he was talking about because I was too busy scoping out all the mold and at one point the instructor um, cut his finger and he couldn't find his first he had a first aid kit and he eventually found but when he was trying to look in the bag he couldn't find it and so he had Stephen looking and Stephen didn't know what he was looking for so he didn't find it so me and another guy are looking all over the boat for a first aid kit. There was no first aid kit in that boat. I opened the bath and locked the bathroom door and opened it to see if there was like a cabinet with the first aid kit in it. And the bathroom looked gross. Let's just say you wouldn't want to use it. No. Did you ever look in there? No. There's literally, literally a trash bag. They have taken the toilet off, put a trash bag down, put the toilet back over the top and you see the trash bag around the bottom. Mm. I don't know why what the purpose of that was. I just closed the door and exited the room. That's not uh, that's not good. But they're going to get us a different boat tomorrow anyway. Um, that boat, as we were leaving the marina, the motor actually stopped running and so we sailed around for a while but then when it's time to come back they had to come and tow us well, in. The wind died down so we got stuck we so. couldn't you can't really once you get so far in you have to motor anyway yeah. you can't depend on the sails to get you into a slip so yeah they had to come with a a boat and but on the upside since steven and i have been towed so many times we know what to do yeah we knew exactly well they did tell us from the side which i've never had done before and i don't think i would do that ever again because the boats were rubbing against each other but did you see all the big chips on the front of that boat? Yes. On the, um, you know, we have like a protector on our boat. Yep. That part had a lot of huge chips, and I'm not even sure why they would even have it in the water with those big gouges in it. But anyway, um, we did that. Like, we got towed in, but when we got up there, Steven and I knew exactly how to hop off the boat and stop it from coming and then pull it in. So that was pretty cool. Yeah. Not cool it that we had the, that needed to be done, but cool that we knew what to do to help. So that was cool. Pretty good. And um, the classroom is hot, like extremely hot. Yeah, I wouldn't want to do another course this late in the year though. <laughs> no, I would definitely be trying to get courses earlier in the year. Which is, we originally planned to do ours in May, but. That would have been better. It would have been much better as far as the heat, but. And I've gotten multiple text messages from Shelby today saying she will never keep our kids over the week, like over a weekend again, unless it's just Katie, John, and Lexi. Because she has 10 kids at her house right now and she's struggling to like not walk in the closets. Her behavior has not been great. So, I think um, some of the kids thought Oh, Shelby's our aunt. Shelby's our sister. They're not our parents. We can act a fool here and it'll be okay. Well, guess what? It didn't go that way. So. Sorry, Shelby. Thanks for babysitting. <laughs> we know this is like a once in a lifetime opportunity. Thank you. Mm. We'll Thank you, you, Bailey, for lining all the boys out.
Yeah? You think? Mm. We, we need to study. We have a lot of studying to do. So, luckily, the class got out a little bit earlier than expected tonight. So, we well, are. because the sailing was cut short. Yeah. Because we didn't do man overboard. Yeah. So, they're going to try to make it up tomorrow. But anyway, what the upside to all the downside is that we got to come back to our camper where it's a whole lot cooler than it is in that classroom. Yes. So, it is what it is. But, I mean, I, we did have fun. And mm -hmm. I think we met another couple that mm -hmm. I feel are, the same thing. are wanting to do the same, pretty close to the same thing that we are. Um, oh, yeah, I don't think, they didn't mention bringing their kids, so. Well, they said that all their kids have grown up. Grown and up, yeah. So, yeah, we're ready. I do think I need, I have a lot to learn. A lot to learn. It's like learning another language. Yes. So. All okay. the different terminologies. Yes, it is. Yeah, it is. All right. So, that's day one of sailing. We're done.